we have got the two cameras now, so hopefully we can do a bit more fancy stuff and film a lot more stuff. I think that the picture quality on this one, I keep looking at the screen because I can't believe the image that's staring back at me. I mean, A, I'm really handsome, and B, it's a really clear screen. That was a joke, by the way. <laughs> that's going to get quite a bit of hate. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, um, it's very, very clear. Hopefully the sound is coming through loud and clear too, and I haven't had to turn it on, and I'm just moving my lips and nothing's coming out. Hello everybody and welcome back to WA UK, back at the barn today for a bit of a, a vlog and an update on the trailer. A few people have requested uh, what would I do different and uh, what would I change if I had the choice. Well, I will be changing early next year quite a bit, right? Stay tuned if you want to see what's going on. So first off, you will notice a little alteration just here behind my head. Uh, the other week me and my son came in and quickly, uh, we want a bit of a time limit, so we, we quickly strapped up a new uh, canvas awning. Um, I'll just quickly give you a quick look at, as to how it fits on there. And I was at a camp up weekend. We had a bit of a birthday get together uh, down at Camp Snowdonia, uh, which I was using. And I'll roll in some footage right now of that. So, as you can see here, we have an awning. Uh, what happened to the awning is I actually ordered one from a reputable company in the UK and uh, they couldn't get me one in time for the for the Edale show that I was at recently. Hence, there was a little comment in the, uh, in the video. So after speaking to a couple of the lads, they said, well, why don't you just build your own out of canvas? So I ordered a 10 by eight foot uh, square bit of canvas, well, rectangle bit of canvas, which is uh, basically what you can see above me here. And there's a company down in the south of England that deals in box section and they deal with the, with the plastic insert corner bits just here. So uh, I've just built a frame out of steel, uh, steel, sorry, uh, aluminium. And uh, I've used all the sections to, uh, to, to link it all together. It's on, it's on hinged sections up at the back end, if you will, the trailer end. And um, it's on just, just right angles, just at the front end. Uh, drilled some holes so the poles can go up through it and the uh, canvas is attached to the back bit or the trailer end and the front end here. So when I'm done all I do is I grab these side bits, they go on top and they all roll up and then I've got some velcro straps and it just velcros to the roof rack. Uh, now as you could see before it was raining quite heavily um, and it, we've took it, it, I mean it's quite windy here now, if I turn around and I show you the, uh, the kitchen setup I've got behind me, if the light adjusts, I don't think it will, it is actually quite windy here. We're in a valley, as I mentioned before, Camp Snowdonia, and it is actually quite windy, but if you look at the movement in that just there behind me, 
I stand to the side a little bit, you can see it wafting about in the wind. You actually see how much mine's moving. Because it's such a heavyweight canvas tarp, there is no movement in it at all. And all I've used is a little tiny bit of five strand paracord here just to guy it down, and another little bit of paracord here to guy it to the Land Rover. And um, yeah, it, it seems to be working really well. And that was really the only change um, that, that I've made to the trailer so far. My son helped me, so thank you very much to Tass if he watches this video for your help. Couldn't have done it without your son. Thank you very much. Um, there are a few couple of temporary mods that I've done. Like I've put another two extending poles just here. And that's just a wedge in a block of wood just here just to keep the rain rolling off it. But that wouldn't normally be there. In fact, I'm probably going to end up modifying that and putting something a bit more permanent and rigid in. But besides that, that's the only mod. If you turn around here, look who's on my bed. Can you see there? It's just focusing in. If I go beep beep, the lad's there looking all there. Uh, or relaxed on the bed. A lot of people say, oh, how come your dog hasn't been in the videos recently? So I brought him along this weekend. The reason he's not in the videos recently is because uh, we've been going to a lot of places where he has to be on the lead and I don't like keeping him on the lead. I like him running free. He's a bit of a free spirit and that's the way I like to keep him. But yeah, he's here this weekend. He's chilling out on the bed at the moment. Uh, lads have all gone out off-roading so the camp's looking a little bit empty. But uh, I'll take you for a quick mooch round. This is, we've got a, basically we've had a gathering this weekend because um, few of the lads birthdays so we've got cake and we've got loads of food knocking about um, a couple of the other vehicles that are still here that haven't gone off-roading let's see if we can zoom into Andy's there's Andy's vehicle there obviously I'm trying out a new camera as well this week so uh, yeah we get to see what what kind of mess we can do with that Now, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that footage. Uh, sorry I didn't get more footage, it's just we were with our families, we were with our loved ones. There was already two cameras floating about the, uh, the campsite and I didn't want to add to that and intrude anymore. So while the guys were away off-roading, I just whipped the camera out and just quickly filmed a little bit around the campsite of the things that I've changed and things that I thought might interest you. So uh, I will crack on with the video. I'll take you around the back and let you know of a couple of other changes that have been done and are going to be done early next year. So one of the things I've learned along my journey of, of putting a few accessories, if you will, on the trailer is these lights just above my head, just there, are very, very bright at night time. In fact, they're so bright, they hinder more than they help. Uh, if you have them on as camp lights, they're just too bright. Um, if you got to camp and you had to set up and somebody was building a tent next to you, they'd be absolutely brilliant because they let off just so much light it's intense though it's very white so it burns out your eyeballs um, so what I've got coming is I've got a couple of uh, paraffin storm lamps I think that's what they're called um, so they're gonna hang off the awning that you will have seen earlier on in the video um, and they're gonna give a, a lot softer and more ambient light for at night time when you're just sat around chatting uh, I think they're gonna be far far better around the camp another change you will have noticed is this awning here was above the door in the Edale video, now it's above the back end. That is due to the changes that are going to be going on next year on the back end of the trailer. Now I'm not going to tell you too much, but I am going to completely gut the back end. So how it is there is going to completely change. Uh, I'm going to line it with either stainless or perspex for easy cleaning. And the whole, the whole thing is... I'm not going to tell you too much because I don't want to spoil the future video. So I've brought you into the trailer just to finish off the video. Um, not sure how often you're going to be seeing the trailer from now on because obviously we've come to the end of what I can do with it at the moment. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I will be changing the back end next year. 
um, but that'll be happening next year and until then there are a few little accessories and, and, and whatnots that I'm going to be doing to it but I think they're going to be more camping videos, uh, shooting videos, maybe some, some bushcrafty stuff that I'm going to branch out to over the, the following few months. Um, so I hope you stick along for the journey. Um, and I hope to see you on the tracks and trails out there. I mean, our next big show is going to be the Overland Adventure Show in Stratford-upon-Avon, and that is in September, so I hope to see you all there. Uh, until then, stay tuned, and I'll see you very, very soon.